Hi everyone, thanks for watching my YouTube contents. I'm Sang Kim. I showed you how to do logistic regression analysis in the previous video. In this video, I would like to share how to do private regression analysis in Excel and R. The only difference against logistic regression analysis is link function. In private regression analysis, we use cumulative normal distribution function as a link function. Probit is the abbreviation of probability and unit. The purpose of the model is to estimate the probability that an observation with particular characteristics, which are from independent variables, will fall into a specific one of the categories. Moreover, classifying observations based on their predicted probabilities is a type of binary classification model. It is most often estimated using the maximum likelihood procedure. This is joint log likelihood function for probability regression analysis. And asymptotic distribution for beta hat is given by this formula. So it follows normal distribution with um, inverse of uh, omega matrix as covariance matrix. Let me use uh, same data which were used, which was used for uh, logistic regression analysis. In our program, we can do probit analysis by using GRM function with specifying uh, family equals binomial link as probit. Then you can get this output. I would like to show you uh, how to calculate, how to get these uh, regression coefficients and related statistics. Right. So this is a log likelihood function. Uh, so in order to get uh, optimal B0, B1, let's set uh, 0 as initial value. And G can be calculated by J2 plus F4 plus J3 plus F4 times C2. And this is uh, G value. And cumulative probability can be calculated by norm dot s dot dist function with z comma and true option. Right. Then uh, low likelihood for each observation can be calculated by y times log of cumulative probability plus 1 minus y times log of 1 minus cumulative probability. Right. Residual deviance is uh, minus 2 multiplied by sum of log likelihood of each observation. All right. So we want to optimize this value. So set objective, this one. We want to minimize this uh, value by changing B0, B1 estimate. Right. been changed. I think um, typically we use uh, newton lapson uh, algorithm, but in Excel, it, uh, there's no newton lapson algorithm in server. So I used this uh, approach. So there is small difference between them. Okay. AIC is equal to residual deviance plus two times number of parameters. There are two parameters. So this same as our output. And let's move on to calculate the standard error for V0 and V1. It's a little complicated. So we need to calculate omega matrix and then inverse of omega. Uh, we, we want to calculate inverse of omega matrix. So omega matrix uh, can be calculated uh, by x prime times v times x, right? So let's get v matrix. So V matrix 
uh, actually can be calculated from this formula. So this is uh, probability density function, and this is probability cumulative function. Okay. So in order to make a diagonal matrix, we need to fix column or row. So if O2, let's fix column equals P1, let's fix row, then uh, norm dot S dot DIST, X prime beta, this one, comma, and PDF, uh, first, we need to specif uh, specify it as first for PDF, and squared, and over, cumulative probability times 1 minus cumulative probability. not let's set as zero and we need to fix f2 for column okay and e2 let's fix column okay right I applied conditional format to check whether uh, of uh, diagonal elements uh, are greater than zero, and off, di off diagonal elements are zero, right? All right. Then uh, X matrix is actually design matrix. So uh, select uh, from column B B two to C twenty six as X again. Okay, select 2 by 2 matrix and let's do a matrix computation. So MERT transpose X, comma V. Close. Mert comma x and finally uh, let's use m inverse close the form and press control shift enter right so standard error for v0 uh, is square root of first elements from this one, okay, and square root for, oh, sorry, square root of second uh, diagonal elements, okay. okay, and g value as coefficient over standard error, and p value is a two sided p value, so two times. Uh, norm dot s dot one minus norm dot s dot d i s t and g value comma true okay. uh, for g value for p zero is minus sign so we don't need one minus. So this is um, how we can get estimate coefficient and standard error and z value and p value, right? Again, in our program, if you uh, once you have a probability analysis output, you can you can get fitted value here. So this fitted value is the same as cumulative probability. Okay. I hope it was useful to understand private, private regression analysis uh, in XLNR. Please click like and subscribe if it was useful for you. Thank you.